in a while. You were a teenager 12 years ago. That means you were 31. Uh, no, so I'm 29. Hello, hello, hello. Howdy, everyone. How's everyone doing tonight? Happy to see you all here. I instinctively picked up my PS2 controller. Just automatically <laughs> went straight for PS2. Because that's what I'm used to doing. Uh, I'm going to start a new game. Just because, like, I, not that far in this one anyways. Um, I, I think this is the save that I was using to get the uh for the podcast that i was recording uh the, the footage for the podcast so we're just gonna we're just gonna start a new one there clear yes hey Ru, thank you so much for the resub man kitty's roll supreme <laughs> i freaking love this game dude it's beautiful it's fun you get to play as a cat like <laughs> Dogs are too high maintenance for me, man. <laughs> Honestly. Between the smell, having to take them for walks, having to let them outside to use the bathroom. Nah. <laughs> the drool. Oh. I don't hate dogs or anything, but cats are so much easier to take care of. <laughs> Your cat's much easier to handle. Noodle with the 10 bits, too. Thank you so much, love. Yeah, I personally love how easy cats are to take care of most of the time. <laughs> Your cat drools. <laughs> oh, I've never had a drooling cat before, thankfully. Um, but yeah. Play with the kitties. We're gonna play with the kitties. I mean, right now we have to play with the kitties. I feel like your cat drooling came up at one point or another. I feel like that's something that, that we had mentioned on stream before. When she's super happy, like when you're snuggling her. Oh god, Noodle would probably throw up, man. <laughs> I don't think she could handle it. <laughs> Noodle does not do well with, with drool at all. I love the opening, man. So freaking simple. It's just a couple cats, uh, some nice rainy, rainy, stormy weather, you know? I just, I want to be them right now, just chilling outside in a storm. <laughs> you despise cat to your bone? Okay. Well, have a good night, Hattie. You might need help. You have a bit of a hero clicks obsession. Hero clicks. I'm like 99% sure that I've talked to I don't know if it was you or someone but I definitely have heard of hero clicks before but I can't actually remember what they are <laughs> off the top of my head it's escaping me it's completely escaping me I cannot remember what the hell they are You because your coworkers started tournaments. Okay. So, yeah, we talked about it on stream. I thought so, but I couldn't remember for sure. Oh, fun fact. I was watching a video. Uh, somebody decoded that little, like, robot alien language thing there at the beginning for, for all of the level names. So, there's a few different alien robot languages used throughout the game, apparently. Um... And so far, they've only completely decoded the one. But yeah, they've been able to figure out, like, the actual names of these levels or whatever. And they are a little bit different than uh, than what they tell you. Most of them line up, you know, pretty close, but not, like, exactly or whatever. My first time playing this, it took me so long just to get to the robot companion that we're going to get to here soon. Because all I wanted to do was just walk around and look at everything. Like, <laughs> honestly, considering, like, how small of a little indie game this is and whatnot, I just freaking think it looks amazing. And the way the cat, like, interacts with all the, the branches and the, the plants and all that stuff, like, it's just, bruh, beautiful. Love it. Yo, for real? Yeah. 
Got two super rares and the red hoods and so many Harley Quinns now. Hell yeah, dude. I want to get back into collecting Pokemon cards one of these days. But, like, money, man. I just... <laughs> I just do not have the money to uh, be spending it all on Pokemon cards anymore. As much as I want to, I can't actually, you know... <laughs> Not, not that and PS2 games. I can't do both. I can only do one or the other. <laughs> PS2 games, uh, kind of, kind of took top spot there. Had to go with that. I also like how you can just interact with stuff. Like it doesn't do anything, right? Like drinking the water here doesn't actually do anything. But I love that you can. Same with you know scratching the carpets and and taking little naps and the meowing although i guess the meowing does serve some purpose in the game as far as like getting hints and shit but yeah you need to find your pokemon cards you have no idea where they are i know where mine are <laughs> they're in a oh okay that <laughs> bugged out a little bit they're in a tote right behind me look at the kitties flipping through each other a little bit I mentioned it in the podcast, too, but the first time... Like, I watched a video that was talking about this thing in particular. I mean, a whole bunch of stuff about the game, but they mentioned this in particular. Where, like, you come up to, you know, a railing or, or a gate or something like that. And your first instinct as a gamer is that, you know, you have to go around it. But then you just go under it or through it or whatever. And it's, like, so... <laughs> it's just so, you know, like, trippy for a moment. But then you realize, I'm a cat. I'm tiny. Of course I would just go through the gate or, or underneath the the um, the the railing there or whatever. Like, why, why wouldn't I? That's what cats do, man. <laughs> they don't have to go around things. They can just jump on top of it or around it or whatever. And it just, I don't know. Just the, the little things what I love, man. <laughs> Noodle's talking about, there's that Doja Cat song, uh, Bitch I'm a Cow. I don't know the actual name of the song, but I, I sing it to Noodle all the time. <laughs> Bitch I'm a Cow. Bitch I'm a Cow. <laughs> I'm not a cat. I don't say meow. <laughs> I want to play with the bugs. Why does he get to play with the bugs? On little stuff like this, like just ducking under it. Man. Meow, meow, Macau, meow. meow. <laughs> uh. Anyways, though, how's everybody doing tonight? Noodle and I just got back from vacation a couple days ago, of course. It was fantastic. We didn't end up doing a whole lot, to be honest. For the most part, we just kind of chilled in the hotel. <laughs> we went out and got some food, of course. The food was good. Uh, got pizza on Friday because... We always get pizza on Fridays. Uh, swam a little bit. Noodle wanted to swim more. But I'm just, I'm not a big person for swimming. You hate this part? Me too, man. I honestly thought the cat was like gonzo at first. <laughs> but thankfully, everything worked out okay. Oh my god. But whenever like you get control of the cat here in a second and it's having trouble walking around because, you know, it just fell all that distance, man. My heart strings, you know what I mean? Makes you feel bad. But yeah, so, I mean, we went swimming. Uh, I got in the hot tub, like, once, but I'm not a huge hot tub person. Noodle spent a lot of time <laughs> in there, though, because we had a private one in the room. Um, what else did we do? I mean, we played a little bit of Stardew Valley. Honestly, I thought we would play more Stardew Valley together, but... Ah, oh, poor kitty. But we played a little bit of Stardew Valley together. I finally finished Pokemon Shield. While I was there, because I took my Switch as, like, my, my main gaming source. So I finally finished Pokemon Shield. I didn't do all of the, like, extra content and shit. Just the the main part of the game. Finish that up. It's fun. I, I, I really enjoy Pokemon Shield, don't get me wrong. But, like, I was looking to see what all there was to do in the post-game after beating the game. And it's just, like, it's there's not much, is there? <laughs> like, compared to some of the other Pokemon games, man. Not counting the DLC, because that's something you have to pay for. 
the only thing to really do from what I was reading is um, get the legendary, like do the legendary quest, uh, and then do the battle tower, and like, that's it. You don't have the DLCs, do you? No, I, I don't have the DLCs for it. I, I considered buying it, and I probably will at some point, but like, man, I, I'm just thinking back to like Pokemon, what was it, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, like... The amount of post-game content in that was just insane. Like, so many legendaries to, to catch. So many little side quests and things that you can do. And then, in this one, you got you got the one legendary quest in the Battle Tower. And that's it. Yeah, the Delta episode and shit. Like, there was, it was really, really good. And that wasn't extra paid content. That was just part of the game. You know? And then the other thing with Pokemon Sword and Shield is, again, I really enjoyed the game. Don't get me wrong. I don't want anyone to think that, like, I hate it or anything. But, like, the the actual game itself, they took out basically all of the puzzles, all of the, the challenge, right? It really is just battle Pokemon, and and that's that's about it. <laughs> that's, that's all you do in the game. And, again... The, the Pokemon battling, I think, it feels really good in this one. I love that they use a little bit more strategy. Like, the, the opponents use a little bit more strategy in this one than they do in some of the other ones. Um, I really appreciate that. The battling itself, I don't think, has ever felt better. But I miss some of the extra stuff that was in Pokemon before. Including some other little things, like... Um, whenever you ride the train, you know, I'm, I'm thinking back to like getting on ships in the previous games, you know, you get on a ship and you have a whole little ship section that you play through. And this one, I was hopping on the train and I was like, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have, you know, this cool little ship set, or I'm sorry, cool little train section to play through or whatever. And nope, it just cuts to black and then cuts to, cuts to you being wherever you're going, wherever the destination is. Um, and then like the the whenever you take the taxis, there's no real like flying animation You know you fly up and then you land where you're going and that's it And again, I'm thinking back in the other ones where like you could actually fly around the world and stuff like that where it's like I don't know. It just feels like it was very Simple compared to some of the other ones very uh, uh basic but what they did, they did really well. I'm just missing some of the extra elements that the other games had, you know? Because I, I really enjoyed that extra stuff. Uh, I do still want to get the DLC, and I still really enjoyed the game. It was well worth it, the 50 bucks, don't get me wrong. But, uh, yeah. I do I do miss my my other Pokemon games. I think, uh, I, I don't know which one I'm going to play next, whether it's the Diamond and Pearl remake or... Uh, the Legends Arceus. I'm thinking probably Arceus, but there's a part of me that wants to play Diamond Pearl. I also think in the future I'm gonna, I don't know, maybe introduce some sort of challenge to the games. May, I don't know if I want to do like full, full Nuzlocke for the mainline Pokemon games, or if I want to do like a pared down version. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I want to do something a little bit different. Because, I mean, before my main goal for Pokemon has always been, you know, the basic catch them all or catch as many as possible. And then I did get into, for a while, I got into breeding and, uh, like, EV training and doing all of that, like, shit. Um, and I had fun with that stuff, but I look back at it now, like, all the time that I spent doing that. And let's be honest, I kept all those Pokemon. I put them in the Pokemon bank and all that stuff. But am, am I ever e going to actually do anything with those Pokemon again? Like... Looking back at it now, I feel like I kind of wasted my time. So I'm thinking more of, like, doing a Nuzlocke-style run and then um, transferring, whenever I'm done with it, transferring my Pokemon over to the Pokemon Bank. That way I have a little bit more of, like, an attachment to the Pokemon or something that I actually keep a hold of. But I don't know. To be determined. But I'm, I'm going to do something. Do Arceus? Yeah, that, I'm definitely leaning towards Arceus, TBH. I mean, I played Diamond and Pearl before back in the day. So even though I'm sure there's some new stuff in the um, in the remakes here, it's still a game that I've already played. Send a pick to Discord? Okay. What kind of pick? Click and click. Hey, your hero clicks, dude. I'm assuming that's a pretty decent sized collection. <laughs> I know so little about hero clicks that I can't say for sure. 
but I'm coming to assume that that's that's a fair bit. <laughs> oh. Hero click sounds like something that would be fun, like that I could get into, but at the same time, no, <laughs> there's no way. Just I already have too many things, like I mentioned with the PS2 stuff, and then I have my Pokemon card collection that uh that I kind of get into sometimes. And then my friends really want me to get into Magic the Gathering and keep giving me Magic the Gathering cards to, like, convince me to, you know, play that. Like, bruh, I just can't do it. Nothing compared to your friends. But, yeah, you collected all these in less than a month? Dude. How much are each one of those little figures? Each of the, the heroes. I love Jonathan's theory on how, like, we killed the <laughs> robot here. <laughs> like, we are the mastermind behind it all, the cat. Like, <laughs> he's so... <laughs> Jonathan's so freaking weird sometimes, dude. Love the guy, but oh, lord. He's something. That's a loaded question. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to be, uh... Uh, I don't know. Provocative here. Just... <laughs> Kitty not a killer? No, 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 no. I don't think so either. I don't. I don't subscribe to his theory. I just find Jonathan and his weirdness interesting. <laughs> These guys, the freaking scourge of my existence here, dude. All right, let's go. This guy zigzag, zigzag everywhere. Can't catch what they can't see. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Noodle, how many times did it take you? How many tries did it take you to to eventually get through this part? I know this is something else that Noodle was really struggling with, was getting through this section. And it actually can be a bit hard at points. Like, so I'm not surprised. Like, five. <laughs> you got there in the end, though. That's what matters, dude. You did it. Death to the Zerks. <laughs> I watched, uh, like, I wasn't, oh, God, I wasn't really watching it myself, but I did see, like, a, a video, uh, I think it might have been a Map Pack Game Theory video or something about Stray, um, it was just, like, on in the background while I was doing something else, and they mentioned, like, all of the Zerks being, like, I don't know, the, I think you guys mentioned it too, Rue mentioned it specifically there being like an underground thing with like whole masses of them or some shit like crazy <laughs> oh noodles never gonna want to play the game again if you keep saying that yeah they struggled dude the playstation 5 has this cool feature where you can get hints for games um Yes, 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 yes. I know this PS5. Uh, I don't know if it'll work here or not. Yeah, I guess it will. I, it should. But anyways, yeah, okay. So if you have, like, PlayStation Plus or whatever, so you can get little hints and complete with videos showing you where to go and stuff like that. And Noodle, after struggling for, like, a half hour, finally gave in and decided to use that feature and was still struggling <laughs> with where to go and what to do. It was, <laughs> it was adorable, but also, like, I was getting frustrated. Just watching Noodle play was frustrating me, which was terrible. <laughs> oh, man. Couldn't even find the stupid window to talk to the stupid dude about the outside. I just wanted to take a nap. No, Noodle means IRL. They just wanted to take a nap. <laughs> Because uh, they they checked the screen, and uh, it said like, you know, eight minutes since last check since last check. Holy hell, dude! Uh, eight minutes since last checkpoint, and they didn't want to lose that eight minutes of progress. So she like refused to quit playing until she uh, got back to got a new fresh checkpoint, and the next checkpoint, of course, was at the whenever they got through the the window there and yeah she just could not find the way to the window man <laughs> like it was it was hilarious checkpoint yes not check 
checkpoint, checkpoint. I know how to speak, I just can't. <laughs> it just doesn't work, man. God, the game's so pretty, dude. Just look at it. I just, like, I don't want to live here because, you know, should be pretty obvious reasons, but I want to visit here. <laughs> I can't believe you've memorized the quotes for the most part, dude. I don't even know what the quotes are. It's so pretty, though, with all the fog and the, just the dingy decor. I love it. Oh, no, not again. Kitty down. Oh, we're safe. It's fun. Everything's okay. Anyways, though, Rua, since it seems like you're the only other one here right now at the moment, what have you been up to, man? Noodle and I have been on vacation. That's about all we've done. <laughs> you been doing anything, any, anything interesting? Holy hell. Words are not working. Probably made a note. That's smart. A note would make sense. Just busy at work mostly one week till the semester starts, so it's been getting worse. Yeah. I feel like our, uh, the store I work at has been super busy lately as well. It doesn't help, too, that we, we had one guy quit. Um, cause he was moving and then we have someone else out sick for a while. Well, not sick, but they're on leave for the moment. Suffice it to say. Um, and then we were already kind of short staffed on my shift. So like it's, it's just, yeah, <laughs> that's more so than the extra people that it seems like we have right now. It's kind of like, we're just short staffed, man. It does help the day go by a bit quicker, though, because, you know, you're always doing something, you're always busy. But at the same time, it's like, shit, dude, sometimes I just want a second to breathe just every once in a while. Having a uh, earbud playing a podcast helps out a lot, too, which reminds me, I still need to check out the podcast that uh, you guys recommended to me. I hopefully still have the messages from everyone on Discord, but... I haven't actually checked them out yet. I need to. You got someone new from the college you just transferred from? That's cool. Did you know them? Like, when you were in, in school with them? and in, in college with them? Or... Not really. Oh, uh, yeah. I did also mention, I think, on Discord that I did get a bunch of new games while I was on vacation so that's awesome um some decent ones actually the problem with them like i got most of them i i, I got them for really cheap so like i'm not going to complain too much but the quality of the discs aren't the best <laughs> okay so like i'm a little worried about whether a few of them are going to work or not um but i mean we'll see i don't know get there when we get there i guess but we got a bully, um, destroy all humans, a couple Grand Theft Auto games. Um, I feel like there was one or two other ones that I, oh, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, got that one too. There's gotta be more, but I can't, I can't remember of like the other decent ones that I got. They're slipping my mind and then just a bunch of like random stuff too. But, like, no sports games, which, you know, honestly, I'm, like, <laughs> oh, Strawberry Shortcake, yeah. Let's not forget I got Strawberry Shortcake, the video game. That one's important. This pisses me off, but at the same time, it's so accurate. <laughs> Just the cat typing on the keyboard. Oh, you know what actually does upset me about this, though? Right here. Look, I'm on the keyboard and constantly typing N, but, like, I'm in the top right. I'm nowhere near the end key, so it just bugs me, like, <laughs> that each one of these keys are not accurately placed on the keyboard, like, that's what makes me mad about it. <laughs> oh boy, a super girly one. I don't know, Strawberry Shortcake doesn't have to be 
girly, right? It could be, it could be fun. Probably not, but it could be. He has huge, he has IT experience, which is a huge plus. He's a nerd who loves Red Hood and Battle Force 5. You like him already? Hell yeah, dude. It's always nice whenever someone, you know, joins the group that just kind of fits in the, the already existing click, you know? I appreciate that. Luckily, we're usually, uh, we're usually lucky with that at where I work. Like, most of the time, it seems like the people we get are, are kind of nerdy and whatnot. At least the, the people that <laughs> stick around for any amount of time. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Which, you know, probably makes sense. The people that get, a, get along with the rest of us tend to be the ones that, that stick around. I really like Strawberry Shortcake. Car Care Bears are better. I don't think I've ever actually watched any Strawberry Shortcake. I have watched Care Bears, though. At least the, the movies. I don't... Was there a TV show? There was probably a TV show. Massive nerd in the nerd fam. <laughs> Think your boss might try to hire me after I graduate. They keep dropping hints like a lot. Is that a good thing? Like, do you want to stay there? Do you want to be hired on? Or do you want out? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, regardless of whether you want to be there or not, I guess them wanting you is a good is a good thing, you know, a good sign. But yeah, like what do you want to do? That's the question. Okay, so this is about as far as I've personally gotten. I, after we unlock B12 here, and then um, find the, the code to the door to get the hell out of here. That's where I quit whenever I was initially playing. And that took me about two hours. Not because the first section of this game takes two hours, but because, like I said, I stopped and looked at everything, man. Like, I spent so much time because the game's just so freaking pretty. I love it. Also, I love the cat's reaction to the to B12 here. Bonking it on the head. And then, oh god, whenever... <laughs> whenever we get the little vest on and the cat just, like, crouches down, becomes a long boy and refuses to walk around, that may have been my favorite part of the game. It worked, I'm free, thank you. I couldn't believe the cameras, a cat in the dead city? I am i can't remember my name, it seems my memory is corrupted. I've been trapped in the electronic network so, for so long. I know I worked for a scientist who lived here. For now, you can call me B12, that's what it says on my exterior. It's dangerous in the dead city, but you seem like you know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here, follow me. Oh, <laughs> there's a period there. Don't worry, you can help. I honestly don't think I'm going to need too much help with this game. Like, I may end up, but I don't think I will. But I do appreciate the offer, though. You never know, I suppose. <laughs> Took Noodle forever to find the stupid code. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> they walked right past it so many times. <laughs> <laughs> I basically had to, like, point it out to him. You're going to have to put this on. N uh, no. I refuse. This part. Right here. Like, this is just... And then just throws themselves on the ground. <laughs> I love this. It's the best... Because that's exactly how at least all the cats I've ever known react. Whenever you put something on them. They hate it, man. <laughs> they just, like... One of our cats, if you even put a collar on her, on, on Katie... Katie hates it. Is this uncomfortable for you? Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Digitize the key and store it in your backpack. Thanks, B12. Got keys. We can examine keys. We can rotate keys. How fancy. Okay, go away. Easy. If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me. Or to others if we come across any. Now let's get out of this flat. You got it, boy. So accurate too, Katie's just like, no. <laughs> exactly, man. 
is wonderful. Is wonderful. Three, seven, four, eight. Okay. <laughs> What were you trying to put in, Noodle? Noodle was trying to type in some number. I don't remember what, but they found one, like, somewhere, or got the idea from one somewhere. I forget what you were trying to put in, Noodle, but... Wow, look at this place. That elevator in the distance. That's important, I think. I know we need to go up. Okay, let's go up. Not ominous at all, just run <laughs> there's numbers everywhere i mean you're right there are numbers everywhere there's just things everywhere the fake night sky you know if it wasn't so like geometric if it wasn't so laid out in like these perfect rings it'd be kind of convincing that that's a real sky at least in a video game format, it looks close enough, you know? Sorry, gotta... Gotta knock stuff down. Everything. Gotta knock everything over. Couldn't even get in the stupid safe. I gave up. <laughs> Love how B12 tells us, hey, we gotta go up, and then we just go down. <laughs> so that's a bit foreboding the shit down there. Oh. Cutscene? Wait, I remember. The outside. Feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? I promised someone I would go there. Promise too. This postcard, the mural was painted from it. Let's take it. <laughs> oh, let's just steal this shit, dude. Why do I have these memories? How did they get there? Let's keep going. I'm still of the mind, though, that B12 is human. Just digitized. Possibly everyone here is, but I don't know. At the very least, I think B12 secretly, secretly a human. Or, well, a <laughs> human consciousness, at least. I guess they're, they're not really human so much anymore with the whole... Flying little robot body thing. You've been told you cannot spoil? Does this... Yes, it still applies. <laughs> no spoiling. <laughs> uh. Once I finally get around to beating the game, I am happy to talk to you about all of the ins and outs, but in the meantime, no. <laughs> Safe zone, okay. Is it a Cyberman? Maybe. Oh, ooh. <laughs> oh, good. They're coming to say hello. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming they can't jump so well. Oh no, don't go down! Don't go down! Oh god! <laughs> I didn't mean to go down! I was, I, was I was trying to jump up, not down, dude. Stop jumping down, you cat! Oh god, we're gonna die. <laughs> Why can't I jump up? <laughs> Jump up there, dude. Ah! <laughs> Shit, they can get up here. There we go. Okay, I was trying to jump the wrong direction. That's why. <laughs> oh. I did hear... I either heard about or saw that achievement. The one for dying nine times, which is kind of cute in its own way. Because, you know, I mean, cats have nine lives, you know? Hi, robot friend. I've seen this part. I don't know if it was in the trailer or what, but I know they're scared of you. Why are you a scaredy boy, dude? I 
I mean, I guess the only the only organic thing that we've seen in this city are those creatures, right? So they're probably just a little like scared. They think if you be a zer oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Cause like I can't think of any other reason they'd be scared, you know. I guess there are some plants, so not literally the only organic thing, but basically the only organic thing were the Zerg. And now us. I can't jump out there to that window? I'm guessing just not right now because reasons. Uh -huh. You love what they say about plants? Just gotta walk to the elevator. Fine. I'm... I think they were drawing us some boobs on the <laughs> on the side of the, the the concrete there, the little divider on the stairs. Hello. You don't seem scared like the others. Are you are you bowing? Are you going to try to murder me? That robot doesn't seem afraid to, uh, of us. Let's talk to him. He might help us. Damn it. <laughs> I wanted to look at the drawings. Meet the guardian. Hello. Uh, can you translate, please? Seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. I know. Thank you. We're not familiar with your kind. You're welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. <laughs> okay. So Zerks eat. Either it's like latent memories that the robots have of the Zerk consuming people. Or the Zerk eat metal. Eat the robots. One or the other, I suppose. I wonder if they intentionally left it vague. So that you wouldn't know which uh, which one really. You can rub against their legs and they get hearts on their screens. That's cute, dude. Oh my god, our our bigger cat, the our big black cat, he was being annoying as hell today. He jumped up or tried to jump up. He's he can't really jump. He's a bit too big and old for that. <laughs> so really, he clawed the shit out of my leg and got up on the uh, arm of the chair. Or the arm of the couch, and I was petting him. But for some reason, every time I would pet one side of him, he would just take his head and force it into my hand. Like, repeatedly headbutt me until <laughs> until I'd pet his head. The other side, though, he would let me pet that as much as I wanted to without headbutting the hell out of me. But on that side, no. No, that side, it, he demanded head pets. <laughs> you look lost. What do you need? Uh, show item. Oh, a picture of the outside? Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it's impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. They're all gone now, except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Seriously, Noodle? Giant building with orange neon sign. They straight up tell you... Big building, orange neon sign. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> oh, I love you, Noodle. Ah, he gets a happy face. You look angry. So you don't care if I scratch the shit out of... Oh, well, you guys are sleeping, I guess. Is that why you get angry? Because <laughs> you're sleeping? Some of you get nervous. Hello. Johan? Do they all have names? Angela? Why go up there? There's nothing there. I think Momo has some pictures just like this. Did you show it to him? Not yet. If you scratch a carpet in each level, there's a trophy for it? Hell yeah, dude. Really thought you'd take the elevator? I've never seen that thing work, and I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Ronin. 374 years old. How long has this, like... 
post-apocalyptic world thing been going on for? I mean, anyone else? You. Hello. Joris. You gave us such a fright. We thought you were a zerk. Nope. Just a kitty. Hello. Roshi. I'll take care of the plants. The humans approve them so much. Now they require very little light. I just had a bit of water and look how big they get. It really is an amazing technology. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Yep. <laughs> so is that what you're talking about? Them talking about plants as if they're as if they're technology? That is cute. Can I can I get a drink? Hey! <laughs> Energy drink speed 2k? Wait, does that actually like can we actually use that? Kitty get hyped up on caffeine. Rescue Moresque? I have no idea how the hell to pronounce that. I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. So I'm assuming we can find music and give to them. Very nice. Trade it to a bot on the other side. That makes sense. I was hoping we could get the cat all hopped up on caffeine, dude. Start zooming. Ah, the heart! <laughs> That's cute. That's so cool, dude. The game's got so much character. I love it. <laughs> oh my god. The controls are backwards, man. <laughs> and we got a trophy. Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, that's great. Can we, can we just play the whole game like that? <laughs> it would be terrible, but hilarious. Access to the sewers is condemned because of the proliferation of Zerk. Stay safe. Stay in the safe zone. I mean, you're going to have to fight back against the Zerk sooner or later, right? Because they're not going to just stay... Outside of the safe zone forever. Take safe's mysterious password. Um, items? Show to be 12. Follow the numbers, but it looks like a binary language, a succession of zeros and ones. You must be able to decipher this code in one way or another. It's probably related to this safe. I mean... Can I... What happens if I just decode it? Like, right now. The scribbles are a little small, but... I, I want to know, I'm going to, I'm going to translate it real quick. Hold on. One, one, zero, 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 one, 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 zero, 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 one, 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 zero, one, one, zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero. Is that a one, zero? Zero, 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 zero. One one zero zero one 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 zero one one. I'm guessing that's a zero. Okay, yeah. Either either I couldn't read it, which is reasonable to to believe. <laughs> Or it's gibberish. <laughs> One or the other. That's fine. <laughs> because the the stuff that came out, what that translated to, is is just gibberish, man. Unless What if how many like I know I know that there's you're saying there's one, two, three no, okay, there's too many lines there. I was thinking maybe each line was a number and that's the number but no. No, that doesn't work that way either. Darn it. 
can have someone translate to go to the bar. Wait, I think I got that paper and everyone told me they couldn't do it. Oh, I think the code is behind a picture in the bar. We'll figure it out one way or another, sooner or later. I was hoping that, like, they would have hid some little Easter egg in there or something. Which, I mean, maybe they did and I just wasn't reading the binary properly because it is a little hard to read. Uh, excuse me. No, I want to go up to that. There's, like, a mural or something up there. There's a shiny. Why is this shining? Hello. Remember. Oh, is this like another memory thing for us or something? Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now, this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. New memory recovered. Cool. Memories are super important to B12. Some are story progression, some are lore. That's I I hope they do more, because I know like this game's relatively short, right? From what I've read, I hope they continue to I don't know, flesh out this this world. Cause it just seems so interesting. Like that there, that's definitely a game that someone set up to play, you know, with the basketball and the, the little hoop here and whatnot. Oh, <laughs> we crawled under the table. I didn't even notice, dude. We're fortunate to have these items to help us defend against the Zerks. The slums has its threats and preparation is key. I'm assuming you can't do anything. It's very old binary code you have here. Only a real geek can read this. Wow, dude, I feel called out. Look at all the hidden gems in this trash. Pennies from heaven, or from somewhere anyway. Vins. So wait, is this literally just like junk that fell from the top side or just junk that is collected here over time? Hey, a music sheet. Hello, I'm the merchant of the market. Give me something, I'll give you something. It's as simple as that. It's a music sheet, a masterful piece of art of a very renowned artist. It will cost you one energy drink can. I can't do less. Uh, you got it. Give me that music, BB. So you also got electric cables. How oh, is this? An ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. The marketplace? I mean, that makes sense. He is selling stuff. Is this... Is this Elliot? Is that the person you were talking about? I missed his name. I'm sure he said it, but... As we all know, I'm kind of dumb, so... <laughs> Wait, he's a computer geek? This guy or Elliot is a computer geek? He must be talking about Elliot because, yeah, okay. I was going to say because I can't actually talk to that person. Okay, before we go, though, I'm going to go give the music sheet to this musician person. Hello. Um, you have a song now. The way you compute tonight. <laughs> That's a nice one. Hear me out. I'm going to play us a song. Can we go to sleep while you do? Bruh. That's, that's perfect. I... I'm in love. <laughs> this is amazing. This is actually really cool. I like that. And the fact that we can just take a nap here too. That's fantastic. How long are the songs? So that's the end of it. And okay, it's just repeating now. We'll leave. There's eight pieces in total. Well, I know I'm gonna have to collect all of them. 
Have you 100%ed the game room? I'm just curious uh, approximately like how how long it uh takes in total to 100% to the game. Oh, we can look at the drawing now. Yep, those are boobs. <laughs> I don't... It's probably not actually meant to be boobs, but those are boobs. I don't care. <laughs> not yet. You got really into Skyrim, then Arkham, so you haven't finished yet. I feel it. I actually want to replay or start playing Skyrim again soon. I mean, I always want to start playing Skyrim again, but more so because I don't know if you've seen it. There's a mod that kind of takes the Nemesis system from uh, the Lord of the Rings games, the newer ones, and adds it to Skyrim. So, like, whenever something kills you, it doesn't actually kill you. Um, but, like, if it's an animal, it'll drag you to a, a nearby cave and leave you there for dead. Um, but whenever they do that, you drop your equipment and you get a debuff of some sort. And whatever killed you, the specific creature that killed you gets a buff of some sort. And in order to get rid of the debuff that you got, you have to go back, find it, and kill it. And then, like, if a guard kills you, they'll steal your best weapon and then uh, lock you up in jail, right? But if a bandit kills you, they'll steal, like, all of your shit because they're bandits. What do they care? They just steal everything. And then they take you to a bandit camp and tie you up or whatever. Like, just, just cool stuff like that, man. Like, I really want... It, it's really cool. I want to I wanna add that. I think that's the only game game-changing mod that I'm going to uh, include. <laughs> I love how uh, they're telling us no, like don't do it, but at the same time, they got the heart phase. Rico, all the weird stuff always happens to you, mate. I don't dare to leave our village, it's too dangerous. Besides, the guardian is the only one who can open this door. What's the other thing we have? Just the postcard? It's a pretty picture, fake, but pretty. I mean, why do you just automatically assume it's fake? Can we rub your legs, too? <laughs> I left it in the streets, and the next day, the Zerks had consumed it completely. It's crazy, right? They can eat everything. Oh, so they eat everything. Literally, just... I'm assuming that means it doesn't matter if it's flesh, if it's metal. They just eat whatever they can get there. I mean, I guess it's not really pause. Just whatever they can get into. There is so much space to explore. Is there a map? Oh, that's the flashlight. Didn't actually mean to pull that out. Guardian told us to talk to Momo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, no, I didn't want to go up. I wanted to go in that. I want to go in. There was a, there was a window. Let me in the window. They eat everything. Yeah. Uh, down please. Thank you. No, down kitty. <laughs> okay. Window. Hello. Anyone home? I'm going to mess up your pool table because I'm a cat. <laughs> we, we can bat around the, the pool uh, ball. Happens if we get all the balls in the holes. Does it do anything? Get like an achievement for, for winning pool. Go in. There you go. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Lame. Hello, sir. Carl, this is the newspaper from the people living above on level two. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. The outside, why bother trying to find it? We're good here. Why does nobody want to go to the outside? Ooh, okay, memory time. Do they really consume this? The original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans? Do you think I should try some of it? I do, I do not want to be disrespectful of their ways. What is it? Looks like a couple sticks of ram and a broth of some sort. 
Yummy. <laughs> Zerks are bad. Well, I didn't exactly assume they were good whenever they tried to murder me. Oh, is this the bar? This looks like a bar. Hello. You want something? How do you feel about the postcard? The myth of the blue sky. Beautiful concept. It's not a myth, dude. I've been there. Hello, barkeep. Jacob, you're new around here. What can I do for you? Nice picture of the outside. Momo's a real fan of that myth. You should show it to him. His flat is all the way up the area. Look for an orange neon sign. Oh, I, I just jumped through this, dude. Uh, can I wake you up? By any chance? Hmm. I guess we can't talk to him. At least not yet. Wait. It looks like we might be able to jump on his head. Nah, I guess it's just letting us jump around him. Lame. Picture the right. I got it. I got it. One, two, eight, three. Zero L O V equals seven. Zero minus L O V equals seven. So L V equals seven. Is that something for later? Code for the safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember what you said. I didn't forget about it. Knock down the pick code to safe. Now I just got to find my way back. <laughs> Elliot. Ah, Elliot programming. Well. Oh, Elliot programming. Here we are. <laughs> Knock on the door and wait for us to open. Hello? Give it a little scratchy scratch. Elliot gonna come out? Hello, sir. I would like I would like to say hello. Uh can can I meet you now? Hey, you got a picture of the outside. And sheet music. Bruh. You got all kinds of cool shit, don't you? Hey, don't go to sleep. I'm trying to talk to you. Here for Elliot. He's just over there. Thanks, Nestor. There's a big picture of the outside, too. I like these guys. Can we knock stuff down? No. Lame. <laughs> I just want to do cat stuff. I just want to knock shit over. Bro, I could jam to this. Some good music. Oh, memory. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. I can't help it. <laughs> There's just too much stuff going on. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. It's what the humans would have wanted. We tear it down. Oh no, it's another way out. Slash in. Okay. Hi, Elliot. Yes, can I help you? Wait, is he cold? Is that why you're saying he needs a... <laughs> what? He needs a sweater? I need to read this binary code. Just a second. I need to collaborate. Uh, my lenses. Here, it means a duffer bar. Strange. Who gives rendezvous via binary code? Oh, that's a hint on where to get the code for the thing. That totally makes sense. We did it a little out of order there. Yes, yeah, so go to Grandma's. Wait, is that, <laughs> is that an actual place that we can go? <laughs> Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's... Oh my god. Of course it is, man. 
she was one with a sign of a grandma face. Did I see that? Hi, who are you? Teddy. You do look a little like a Zerk from far away, at least. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things chew through metal. They're terrifying. Okay. That answers that. <laughs> they definitely eat metal. Oh, dude, and we're right back here. Hell yeah. Grandma face. Just look around, you'll find her. You give the cable to her when you first got into town. Oh. So, like, one of the... One of the ones that, like, ran and hid from us or whatever? Oh, shit, the ad's about to start. Hey, what was that code? <laughs> shit. <laughs> I forgot what the code was. Uh, 1283, thank you. Ah, another music sheet. Let's go. All right. We are going to take our break real quick because we only got about 19 seconds. When we come back, dude, we're going to we're going to listen to some freaking tunes, I guess. <laughs> take a nap real quick. I don't know. We're cats, man. We do whatever the hell we want. We'll be our bee. But I got out of school early. I got out of high school when I was 16, went to college when I was 17. Um almost 18 it was like uh four or five months before i turned 60 or sorry before i turned 18 that i went to college so yeah and it was roughly uh around 17 because i was out of high school i'm fairly certain but i definitely wasn't in college yet whenever i played this game through the first time so i'm estimating i was about 17 12 years ago give or take At least you can remember, and he got one hell of a college experience. <laughs> so there you go. The dolls came to life, love. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're busy? Sorry, you can't see. Oh, that's right. You said you were crafting. I forgot you said you were uh, doing some crafts down there, love. Yeah, so we get uh, bonuses for pulling off cool combos and stuff like that of uh, certain lengths and if i remember i think we might get graded at the end of a level putting a question mark on that i can't remember for sure but i th think that's right um also this is new wait this all changed this is the same way we came from right <laughs> i know my memory's bad but i don't remember all this being over here a moment ago there are three openings to insert something. Okay, so we need to get three things of some sort. Can we go up the ladder? There's a ladder, but the lid is closed, and you can't go through. Fair enough. Some gross-looking water. And some less gross-looking water. Blue Orb Fragment, also known as the Fragment of Life. But it's only one-fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotcha. This is the chain to wind up the iron lattice gates on the lower floor. It's too heavy to lift, even with my strength. Okay. So, man, we must have made a different turn at some point. Because this is not where I thought we were going to end up at. This game seems like a pound in the ass. It's not, uh, it's not that bad from what I remember. But again, long time. Could very well be forgetting. Founder badge, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just got my, uh, my status, what, a few years ago? Or a few years ago, Jesus, I wish. No, my, uh, <laughs> my affiliate status a few months ago is what I meant to say, so. You're pretty early in the game. And for as far as the whole PS2 gauntlet thing goes, you're pretty early in the game. We're still, uh, this is right around game 50. I haven't checked to see exactly what game it is yet, but, uh, right around 50. A few years ago, yeah. <laughs> oh, if only I had taken streaming seriously whenever I first got into it when I was like 18, then uh, who knows, man, what would be possible right now. But, oh, that's right. We came up the stairs is where we actually came from. What are all these noises? I'm guessing that's the enemies that are up here. If I could jump up there. I mean, I don't really think we need to fight them, though. But, ah, screw it. Whatever. We get stuff for fighting them, right? 
experience and shit. Love how you joined at God of War and you were like two months in and it was like instant fun time. Yeah, man. Alrighty. Got a stretch, got a drink. Let's freaking listen to these tunes, man. You think you can find more? Uh, actually, since you mention it, untitled. This tune contains exactly 44 notes. Is that important in some way? Um. <laughs> this is an interesting song. I don't know how many secrets there actually are like hidden in the game. But something makes me want to like figure out what notes these are and see if it spells out some sort of message or something. I just, I feel like everything is a hidden message in some way, you know? <laughs> like, like, there's secrets everywhere. There are lots. That was... That was a song, I guess. <laughs> oh, must not be done yet. Still going. Can't talk. There's actually a Skyrim reference, too. That's awesome. Thanks for that music. I will practice. You think you can find more? Yeah, dude. I got number eight unreadable sheet music. Not very readable, but I can still try. Do it. Let's hear it. Wait, this one's unreadable? But it <laughs> works just like... I... I'm just saying... This sounds a lot better than that last one, man. You just saw the sub message? I did. Whenever I went to break, I turned and looked at the, the sub message. It said 10 months. I thought I'd been subbed for 11 years. It was our 11 year anniversary this year. Kesa. <laughs> suppose that wouldn't make sense to people that don't know. Whoever wrote the music for this game did a wonderful job, man. Besides that last one. Like, <laughs> I think, I think that last one was a little bit of a mistake. But that's part of the reason why I think there's some deeper thing to it, you know? Something something more to it than just random notes. Alright. Should we actually go to Momo now? I think we should actually go to Momo now. See if we can find our way up there. So, orange sign. That shouldn't be too hard to get to. Plus, I know a little bit from whenever Noodle was playing to climb up, like, right there. Did we talk to this person yet? I think we did. Yeah, that's Teddy. Okay. Ignore Teddy. On track. We're going to Momo. Our goal is Momo. Not every random person that we see. Momo. Hi, random person. <laughs> How are you? Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to do it, man. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh. oh, I was definitely gonna. There was no way in hell I wasn't gonna make them drop it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yep. My words exactly. Oops. There's so much character. Considering, you know, they're just robots. It's like Fallout 76, man, whenever it first came out. It didn't have human NPCs, right? It only had robots and, and audio messages. If the robots acted like this, I don't think we would have missed the, the humans so much. The regular NPCs. Like, 
Those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. You mean the real sky like this? The outside? Momo told me he'd get there one day. So not everyone has given up hope on seeing the outside, it seems. Are you... Is this Momo? Hello? I'm thinking this is Momo. Oh, you got little pictures of your robot family and stuff? City has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. Why did the humans bury themselves in this this underground city to begin with? Did they like pollute the world so much through industrialization that they they ended up down here? Or I'm not like looking for answers. I'm just talking out loud <laughs> or thinking out loud. Eh, yes, dude. Let's go. More sheet music. See, my, my RPG ways are getting in the way of real progress. So anytime you play an RPG game, I've said it before, you can't go the right way. <laughs> Whatever you think the right way is, you have to go the other way until there's nothing left to do. <laughs> Anything else is or inexcusable. <laughs> I love the bag. I just want to. I just want to play the whole game with a bag on my head. <laughs> oh. Even robots have a hierarchy. Sadly, dumb. <laughs> you had you had an opportunity to make something better, and you just recreated human civilization. Where's the cow? I, I saw you say, oh, right there, right next to that. Just a picture of a cow. Oh, that poor cow's like covered in flies though. Poor thing. Half to scratch everything. Okay, talk to Momo. Hello. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you. what do you want? Wait, who did you let go? What happened? It's a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll bring you only loneliness and despair. Bruh. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that fucking transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there you're on your own i'm done with the outside good luck ah don't give up dude almost seems very sad he misses his friends let me check the notebook he gave us the outsider's manifesto we must go to outside at any cost we must protect our brothers and sisters we must stay away from zerks it's signed clementine zbaltazar doc and momo i think we should find the other notebooks Okay, can you give us like a hint? Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Yes. Hmm. I'm assuming that's them though. So those are the people that we're looking for. Dude, that gives me British vibes for some reason. Uh, I don't know. The other dude sitting on the couch just looks like a dude. Then the one with a really fancy headpiece. <laughs> what is... What is this? I don't... I want to watch whatever this show <laughs> is meant to be. Orakin Season 1? No, wait. Saison 1? So that's not English. I don't know what that is. But I'm into it, dude. Give me Weird Frog, man. Back home too. Is that a movie? A game? Oh, that same cow again. I must really like that cow. Back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. 
It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? Yeah, I'm convinced that this dude is a is a human consciousness stuck inside a, a robot. I can take it. And the pick, the one on the far left is Doc, who's clearly based on the Doc from Back to the Future, and his son Seamus is based on Marty Seamus. Oh, and that's the one that you mentioned was at the bar or whatever? Yeah, hey, we can play with the ball. Mouse? Mouse Masu? Ma Mose? Mouse Masu? What? <laughs> uh... Are you saying there's a mouse in real life, Noodle? Or... In, in real life? Or I don't know why you're just spelling mouse a million times. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Oh, the one over there. Is it alive or dead? <laughs> Katie is playing with it. <laughs> Noodle's freaking out. Okay, guys, I didn't really plan on taking a break 15 minutes after taking a break, but I'll be right back. <laughs> I mean, it helps that God of War is just an insanely good game, too. And then, of course, you had uh, Nate to bullshit with about all the anime and whatnot that we were talking about at the time, so. <laughs> this music is fucking rocking. No kidding, man. Got a great metal soundtrack to it. Speaking of metal, I was surprised. I was watching the uh, Gran Turismo 7 trailer, and uh, I saw that Bring Me the Horizon. I don't know if any of you guys are fans, but they made a track for Gran Turismo 7, which uh, isn't something that I expected at all, you know? BMTH in a Gran Turismo game, but I'm here for it. And uh, they are more than welcome to include all the BMTH music they would like in that game. So I love the Gran Turismo series, or at least the uh, the ones that I've played. And I love BMTH, so hell yeah, dude. Love how there were no enemies at first, and now they are everywhere. Yeah, no kidding, man. All over the damn place. Okay, so it must have been this door that we came through. Yeah, 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 okay. This is the one I was thinking of. So the door upstairs opens this gate, but we can't get there yet. We did a, get a rusty key, though, so we can go back here, go through this door, if we could get around this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know... I don't remember how we switch weapons, if we have to come in here and do it. This weapon is currently equipped. There we go. And then... Oh, okay, so... <laughs> It's equipped, but how do we shoot it? R1? Nope. R2? That's just taunt. L2? Nothing. Directional keys. Directional keys don't appear to do anything. Yep. I mean, it says they're equipped. I'm sure we... Oh, there we go. Uh... Okay, it seems like we can only shoot the guns while we're in air. <laughs> I don't I don't know man <laughs> I don't remember I don't remember at all but I have a rusty key now I know it's amazing ain't it <laughs> you love obey you actually only ever heard their some paternal album before that during the early days of high school yeah they're I mean their uh early music was a bit rough IMO but still very good um at least in my opinion you know I really liked it their newer stuff is also really good, but they, they kind of went on a bit of a poppy kick for a moment um, and then brought it back to some of the heavier stuff. Their last album was really good. It had a lot of video game inspired stuff in it. Like uh, they did a game or a, a song called Parasite Eve based off of, you know, or inspired by that video game. They did a song with Amy Lee. That one's pretty good. Uh, Baby Metal. They did a song with Baby Metal, which I think is really cool. Um, what else? Oh, they did a Resident Evil inspired song. Like, they did a lot of a lot of cool shit on that album, in my opinion. Definitely worth giving a listen. 
And I'm pretty sure they're working on doing another album. No idea when it's going to come out, but, you know. Man, I, I could have swore... Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> we just got strung up like the marionettes there for a second. That was, that was a thing. We can... I could have swore you can use the, the guns just kind of a little more freeform than what it's letting us do, but I may be thinking of, like, something later on once we unlock more abilities or uh, possibly one of the other Devil May Cry, ga Cry games, even. I've only ever beat the first one, but I have played bits of some of the other ones. Jesus, man, they are coming from everywhere. We're gonna end up freaking dying here. Do we have like a dodge or something? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, I think we're dead. <laughs> the guns don't look very powerful. No, they do not. <laughs> I'm sure they'll end up uh, being more powerful as time goes on. But yeah, they're not really doing shit to these uh, marionette dolls. And we're dead. <laughs> Uh, oh, Amy Lee, uh, someday the only butterflies left will be the butterflies in your chest. Something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> butterflies, B-M-T-H. One day the only butterflies left will be in your chest. That's the name of it. <laughs> Answer Rue before they have a stroke. Oh, okay. So yellow orbs let us retry. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Noodle stream is failing me. Make him find out. I was looking it up. You got to give me a moment. There's a delay. I do have the low latency mode on, but there is still a bit of a delay, sadly. Okay. So I'm going to go back in that room in a moment, but I think maybe we should... Uh, explore a little bit first see if we can collect some goodies of some sort although it's not really looking like it is it what are these doors i don't even remember which one did we come from all right we came from blue so can we go through the red one there's something written the 17 puppets are my masters there will be no admission as long as my masters are here Okay, so we have to kill... We have to kill the 17 puppets. I'm guessing those are the, the puppets in the next area. So once we kill them, we can come through this door, I'm assuming. Or is it the 17 puppets? Are there 17 puppets hanging around here? Can we hit them? Doesn't seem like we can hit these ones, so it must be talking about the ones in the other area. Yeah, no, I don't... Okay, yep. So I guess there's nowhere to go, but uh, down. And hope for the best. <laughs> Not a huge fan of this game, to be honest. Is it because of the, uh, the puppets, for some reason? The puppets bothering you a little bit, love? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a pretty good game. I'm surprised Nate's not here. He must have uh, taken an early night or something like that. Because I know Devil May Cry is a series that he really enjoys. Oh, there we go. Okay, so when enemies are around, we can hold R1 to shoot. But yeah, it seems like, other than the fact that the guns are loud as hell, it seems like they don't really do a whole lot of damage. So it probably won't do much for our score at the end of the, the level. But we can take out the enemies... And, and, you know, be safe, not die. He's going to be disappointed he misses, probably, yeah, to be honest. Eventually, I'll get it uploaded to YouTube, though. I am way behind on getting things uploaded to YouTube. I, uh, I still have all of the footage from all of the games, so they'll be uploaded eventually. But, yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't done it in a couple weeks. <laughs> dude, 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 I'm busy and can't watch. Yeah, uh-huh, sure you are, love. Yeah, I mean, the guns are cool, but I kind of just want to beat the hell out of the people with my m massive sword. We just need some uh, chains of Sparta or something like that, you know? So 
so we can get a little bit of range on our sword. There we go. Was that 17? I wasn't counting. Collect all the, the orbs of power here. The the life blood essence of the uh, other dudes. Nine. There was nine. So uh, maybe when we go back up, there will be more up top now? Question mark? Chaos Blades? Yeah, every game they have a different name though, so... Blades of Chaos, there's one of them, Athena's Blades. I don't remember the name of all of them. Yep, there we are. <laughs> we got more. Puppets everywhere. Ghost of Sparta was Blades of Athena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was one of them. Uh, get down. That move really hurts, man. <laughs> Whenever they string us up. That is, uh, it's not a good look. Good look. I need one of those, uh, controllers that has the... The rapid fire button. That just automatically fires for you. I'm wearing out my thumb over here, beating on that square button. 225. So can we buy any upgrades now, or do we have to... Do that, like, later? You can check how to execute Dante's skills. While holding R1 button, press the left analog stick in the direction of Dante's back and the circle button. Then continue holding down the circle button to jump. Finally, while jumping, press the circle button again to slash down. Okay. Press triangle while jumping against walls and on enemies. Oh. I didn't know we could do that. That's cool. We can do a roll. While holding R1, press the left analog and triangle. Nice. Okay, so we can only roll side to side. Oh, but we can do, like, front flips and back flips and stuff. So R1's just, like, a, a strafe mode. And also, like, brings out our guns. All right, dope. And then we can wall jump. Hey, there we go. Okay, so maybe we can get this thing up here this way somehow. Uh, come on. Nope, nope, not that way, Dante. The other way. There we go. So that's what? That's the third one of those. We need one more of those to increase our vitality. I think there was another one in the main room. Let's go back real quick. Maybe we can get a hold of it now that I know that we can wall jump. Because it was, uh... Yeah, there's something up there. I don't... I can't tell if that's one of the pieces or not, though. But then there's also... Ah, come on. Maybe if we jump off this wall. Yeah, there we go, man. So that should be four. Blue orb, four, four. Nice. The fragments have combined to make one whole blue orb. The vitality's maximum limit will be increased. Love it. So I never did figure out, though. Can we actually power up? It's a rare stone that revitalizes energy. A memento of Dante's mother. In the back is an engraving of Virgil and Dante. Okay. Wait, what? You can select your gun. A memento of Dante's father, Sparta. This item is currently equipped. Weird. So I'm guessing if we have, like, multiple weapons, we can change through them here. I'm thinking is what that is. Okay. Yeah, whatever. We'll figure out more as we go along. What kind of name is Virgil? I mean, what kind of name is... I don't know. Any name, really. They're all just a made-up mixture of, of letters and things that we make sounds with our mouth to... You, you know what? Words are weird. That's all I'm saying. Okay? Just saying words are weird, man. <laughs> does it does it really matter? Virgil's a bit weird, maybe, but I'm sure to, to somebody, uh, my name would be weird, or your name would be weird, or, or whatever. All names are weird. Also... We got that door open. Does that Sand of Time dude do anything for us now? It's normally Virgil with an eye. That's true. That's true. But I mean, maybe in the demon realm, where where Dante and them come from, the spelling with E is more common. Must be the Watcher of Time. This god knows and remembers all of the past. The words of this god are engraved. Those who desire to acquire the ancient ways of war shall offer the blood of monsters in exchange. There we go. Power up. You can acquire health, magic, and other enhancement items. 
We can get the Devil Star. A crystal with magical powers will recover five Devil Trigger gauges. Uh, I don't think we got that stuff unlocked yet. Rare stone that revitalizes energy. We got holy water. Water of divine blessings that holds the power to eliminate all the evil that's around you. That's pretty cool. You swore to know a guy with the name Virgil, and for about seven years you thought his name was Herschel. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why would Herschel? I mean, okay, in Mr. Noodle's defense, she is uh she has some problems with her hearing. Um, but like <laughs> that's fucking hilarious, man. Herschel. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody ever corrected you, or did you just never say their name? Purple Orb. Increase the maximum number of your Devil Trigger gauges, thus increasing the time you can be in Devil Trigger state. So wait, can we afford that, or can we just not buy it at all? I'm guessing we just can't buy it at all right now. And then Yellow Orb. Sacred Stone that brings back life after death. We know what that does, because we died once already. So, okay, so so we can just, we can, we can go to the the god of time to get stronger as the game progresses not much we can do with them right now though your boss yelled at you and was like dude but well, you're partially deaf so she started laughing so hard was that when you worked at mcdonald's or where you work at now oh that was the end of the the mission shit okay so we collected 272 orbs we got a clear time of 26 minutes 31 seconds not a great rank. Devil Hunter rank D. We got the D, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure... Shouldn't your boss have already known that you were partially deaf? Like, you can't hear shit either, Kane. All the teens at work don't understand it. And you're like, hey, you work at factories every day for years. Yeah, Noodle's got a... Uh, a uh, genetic disorder that uh, sadly causes some problems with hearing and uh, vision and stuff like that. But, fingers crossed, you know, it will never get uh, all that bad. She sees specialists for it every once in a while and all that bullshit, so. <laughs> Retail and fast food, you get yelled at all the time, so everyone is going to go deaf eventually? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Vision astigmatism sucks. Yeah, I got the astigmatism myself, man. I feel you there. taking forever to save the game holy shit in your defense he's a super super annoying customer that comes in every once in a while and i swear he said hey tell so and so herschel said hi i didn't mean to click on file oh wait so we didn't actually save yet we just okay well yeah write a save then we do want to save she was like who the fuck is herschel <laughs> oh next mission continue right along easy automatic mode in this mode you'll be able to perform and enjoy many different moves with simplified controls with just one button you'll be able to perform many different sword actions depending on the situation you'll also be able to fire without pressing r1 to aim plus by holding down the fire button you'll be able to rapid fire from here on, you'll be able to play in easy mode. Will you switch to easy mode? No. Although, being able to rapid fire with the press of a button sounds really nice. But we're not gonna... <laughs> we're not gonna go easy mode. Mine, uh... My eye doctor never said, but I imagine it's probably mild. To be honest. So I'm not 100% certain, but, like... I can't imagine it's extreme. There's a scale. They said they never they never mentioned they just said uh you're short-sighted or near sight short-sighted you're a short-sighted son of a bitch no <laughs> they said uh you're near-sighted with a bit of an astigmatism and then gave me i've never actually looked at my prescription card either to be honest with you i use uh like my i get my glasses and and my eye doctor and everything all in the same place so they just kind of handle everything i'm sure they've given me my prescription but i've never looked so <laughs> You just have the usual depression and anxiety. Also, stream can't speak English example. Wait, you're gonna run out of numbers eventually, Rue. I'm just warning you, man. It's gonna happen. Like, you can't count forever. <laughs> it's a landscape painting. There's an eerie aura surrounding it. Cool, okay. 
It's a painting of a war. <laughs> very, very useful. I love, like, who was building these castles back in the day and were putting creepy-ass things on the wall like that thing up there, you know? Like, who in the right mind was building this shit and was like, you know what we need? We need a, a silhouette of a man's head peeking out of the wall. Because that's totally normal looking. Can we, like, get you off of me, please? How do we, uh, how do we roll again? That's it. Rue can do anything they put your mind to, so hush. <laughs> I'm not saying, uh, Rue is incapable. I'm saying that I don't think there's enough numbers in the world for how much I mess up the language. See, that happens to the day we're all in the afterlife. You can go to the billions, watch me. <laughs> I'm sure you probably will. Will have to, at least. <laughs> Hello. Howdy, guys. Sorry about the extended break there. <laughs> Oh, Lord. I'm alive! Yes, we're back. I did not plan on being that long. Hell, I planned on wrapping up the stream not <laughs> too long from now. Uh, we're going to play a little bit more, though, just because we were gone for so long. Probably not for too, too much longer, though. It's a little field mouse. Uh, it's not surprising. The house next to ours burnt down a while back. And then uh, behind us is just an empty lot. So... Yeah, <laughs> there's some basically fields around our house. And uh, we saw it run towards the stove, which is where the cats like to watch. So I actually pulled out the stove this time since I wasn't able to find it. Like it wasn't under the stove or anything. So we pulled out the stove and uh, where whoever ran the power cord up for the stove, whenever they ran it up, they left a big hole <laughs> all around where they ran the power cord up. So it must have been... Uh, it must have been coming in and out from there or something like that. So I was patching up the hole. That's why it took so long. Meow real quick while napping. I mean, it's super cute, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> was it supposed to do something? I mean, getting the close-up of the little kitty meowing while taking a nap, obviously, is super cute. <laughs> huh, he didn't heart? Is this one supposed to heart? Swanito, excuse me, sir. Why are you not hearting at me? I'm a super cute cat, and I'm meowing? Yeah, he doesn't care. <laughs> he cares not. <laughs> Let's head over to the symbol. It's the only real clue we have on where to go right now. And damn it, I want to get a little bit more story progression before we continue. <laughs> or before we wrap up, I guess. Okay, bunch of pictures. Holy shit, I need to turn down my headset a little bit. Hello? Anyone home? hide under the bed <laughs> can I nap on the bed or in the pile of clothes so I'll tell you what my cats freaking love specifically Katie loves napping on clothes noodle gets so mad at her because every time she takes the clothes from the dryer to try and uh, sort them slash fold them or whatever she just lays right down on the clothes like <laughs> an outsider notebook is the same logo as the one Momo gave us this one seems to belong to someone named Clementine Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They're in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. Talk to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Wait, why did Momo refuse to go with everyone else? Did he... Did he... Did he know something? Did he just not want to go without all the other robots? Momo, you fool. <laughs> Why did you stay behind, Momo? Yours adores your comforter. 
um, Gary, he loves to, he loves our bed. Like, he just, like, honestly, he's just a lazy cat. He just, like, <laughs> he just likes laying anywhere he can lounge for long periods of time. I don't think he really cares where, per se. But uh, he loves lounging in the bed. But we close the door at night so we can run the air conditioner without, you know, the room getting super hot. And so uh, I have to kick him out every night. And it's gotten to the point to where whenever he sees me coming in, he just, like, runs out of the room. <laughs> it's like, dude, like, sometimes you're allowed to come in here, you know. It's just whenever it's bedtime, you got to go. I cannot sleep in the heat. There's no way. I am a, I am a cold weather person, not a hot weather person. For sure. You have to force yours out. <laughs> like I said... Gary, Gary's gotten used to it. He he knows the drill at this point a little too well, honestly. Hey, another vending machine. I guess we need was it two or three <laughs> energy drink cans for um for that power cable that you said we need. I feel like these screens mean something with the little the little O faces on them. Some sort of secret message. Can we play anything on the gramophone? Nope. Oh, hello. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human. Volume number 42. You see, why would a robot be... I mean, I guess unless... Unless the robots were trying to better themselves, why else would a robot be be reading that, you know? It seems kind of sketch. I don't quite trust these robots. They miss humans. Oh, so they were trying to, like, recreate humans, you think? So that they had someone to, to talk to, to spend time with or whatever? Feel like there's secrets here? Oh, there's definitely something up there. Wait. Hello? Oh. There we go. Yes! Oh, it's a napping spot! Oh, dude. That's the best napping spot yet. That one's fantastic. In the nook of a bookcase? Like... There's a, oh shit! I didn't mean to lay back down. You love the way the tail curls. Tail curls, yeah. It's really cute. I missed the safe. Okay, going back. Uh, excuse me. Height space. Ah, look at that. Um, why well, I, I don't think the sheet music is gonna do much for us. For the safe. Okay, so we probably need to find I'm assuming here somewhere. There's gonna be some sort of some sort of hint. Check the rest of the place you'll find something for it. That's the plan, man. Maybe. If I could find anything. Can we knock down more oh on the bed. Get off the books. <laughs> hey, Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Oh, it's just just keys. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunks, bunch of books, just the librarian. I mean, I don't know, man. It seems like a pretty safe space to me. How long has this safe existed here, unfound? Until, you know, a cat came along and fucked everything up, as they like to do. Another, oh, that's another notebook? Dude, okay. <laughs> I honestly didn't expect to find another one so easily. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Let's find the other notebooks. Okay, so those, those happy face symbols or whatever all over the place, those are definitely leading us towards the notebooks, it seems. And I think, yeah, there's another one across the way there. 
So we're going to go over there before we wrap it up. See if we can find the last notebook. Give us some damn clue to what the hell we're doing. <laughs> Do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna heart face for us now? Oh, there it is. Did it? No. Okay. I thought maybe he heart faced. I heard a noise. No, I just heard it again though. It's not him heart facing. Damn it. I want the heart faces. Hi, I don't think I've actually talked to you yet. What is your name, kind stranger? Mr. Paint Catcher, sir. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Yeah, fair. Can we knock down the paint cans? No. Lame. I'm a cat. I just want to wreak havoc. Okay, there's the face. There's a window, but it looks like it's closed. So, is there another way in? That window also looks closed. Ventilation power supply? Uh, sure. Oh, if we cut off the ventilation, someone will open a window, right? Maybe. <laughs> or maybe we can use the battery for something else? That's a different building. Nothing here. Uh, excuse me, I would like to... I would like to go around the thing. Over here. Did you open your window? No. Damn you. I thought I thought of something neat, but apparently not. <laughs> I mean... If we... It's like, open a window. Aren't you getting hot in there? Let me in, damn it. When you get to the TV, surf all the channels. Okay. I will try and remember that. I'm probably going to play this mostly on stream? Question mark? Maybe. Probably. So if you remember, you'll just have to remind me because Lord knows I'll forget. Oh, dude. There we go. It was right on top. It stopped the fan so we could go down. I mean, that works too, I suppose. I like the idea of someone opening up a window better, but I guess if there's no one, like, alive here, then how's that supposed to work? Okay. Open the window. Does this just let us out? It just lets us out. That's not where I want to go. Can I go back in? This way or do I have to go back up to the top? I think I have to go back up to the top. Catapult? <laughs> Is that for like jumping so many times or something? Okay, let's just go back up top. I'm missing something. This is definitely that same like face sign thing that the other one had. I'm convinced there's a notebook here somewhere. missing something or is there just nothing else to do here on the table there's a table that table nothing there hey new 25 bits holy hell noodle thank you so much love I see a picture. 
there's a notebook somewhere. <laughs> somewhere in this damn house. It was supposed to be on the table. Did we did we break the game? I feel like we broke the game. Is that a vape? <laughs> that looks like a vape. For hopefully taking care of the mouse. Well, thanks, love. Um. Under the bed? No. Might have to redo. Bruh, I refuse to believe it. It's gotta be here somewhere, damn it. Wait, there it is, there it is. I bet you it was probably inside all of these boxes. And for you, it probably like fell out of the boxes onto the table, but for me, it just kind of got buried. I bet you that's what happened. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. This we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. Let's go, dude. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I don't think there's anyone alive up top, man. <laughs> I'll just be honest with you. I think it's us cats, and, and that's about it. I <laughs> think everything else has died off, murdered by, by us, the Zerks, and or whatever. Well, no human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, there's some kitties. But I think kittens drove the mass extinction of all of our other life above ground, and Zerks drove the extinction of all life underground. <laughs> That's that's my theory, and I'm sticking to it, damn it. Uh, no, actually. I got all the notebooks. Okay. Sheet music. Momo's notebook. Clementine's notebook. Uh, Doc's notebook. All of them. Got them. What's that note? The transceiver can be prepared? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine, Zabaltazar. <laughs> Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I, I'll promise you I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Let's go, dude. I'm assuming he's the one that's going to need the power cables. And voila! It works! Come with me. Maybe not. I thought maybe he would need them to, to fix it. Up there, see that building? High above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. There is a way out. They'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Well, I can't say no to that now, can I, dude? Anyways, those guys. <laughs> I think that's going to be it for tonight. Sorry about the... Uh, prob's a good place to stop, yeah. Sorry about the, the extended break there, but sometimes it just can't be avoided, I guess. Anyways, though, what is say? Sunday, Monday we take off. We'll be back Tuesday with a little bit of something PS2 related. I don't quite know what yet, as we normally leave that to RNG. In the meantime, everyone, have a wonderful night. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all.